been a it's been a good day today for videos. It's my third one I made uh, through synchronistic events that seem to correlate throughout my life. I seem to realize and perceive that I was the reincarnation of John Lennon right around the 40th anniversary of the Montreal bed in of uh, the Give Pizza Chance when they had the bed in Montreal. That was the the weekend I found out about it. So for the whole week, I was listening to John Lennon on the radio, basically all the time, and that was that's when I remember it. That's when the domino effect and how I seen how it was possible that I was and I felt it in my being, like the tingling and the the vibe of of knowing, and I seen how it all came together. And I was born in Toronto, 1988, and. I say John Lennon died in 1980, he arrested for eight. And it's just a whole lot of aspects. Like I've seen numerology to it. I've seen how Toronto is like uh, the doppelganger of New York. They're very similar. Um, my cottage lake is on Stony Lake. And that's where John and Yoko stayed when they stayed with Ronnie Hawkins when they met the Prime Minister Trudeau. So with this story, we made Buddy You're Not John with this experience, I mean, we made Buddy You're Not John. And what I've gotten from it is uh, a lot more than one can imagine. And I feel that w that's what exactly has happened, is that I've, I've created, I've created perceptions within myself and created a path within myself from, from where, like, I wanted to go with myself. If that makes sense, like when I was 16 years old, I found out about the Freemasons, the Illuminati, and all of that, and that took me pretty far with it, within uh, knowing and knowledge and awareness and what's going on in the world and uh, the outside world with the the government and and what's been going on throughout history and and how history seems to be set up and and all this manipulation, controlling and and just lies and bullshit from from the, basically every government that's ever existed. And what I got from that is a lot of anger and hatred towards the people that were doing this to, to us, my family, to your family, the people down the street who didn't know what was going on, you know, our grandparents and the people that went to war and died. Basically I had a lot of hatred from that. And what I what I seen was a reflection of myself. And at first you might not understand that because you can see how do you see yourself as one of them or as one of those bastards, as one of those cocksuckers who would murder a child or who would who would steal money from uh, uh, the innocent or who would, would would not give to the poor. Like how, would, how could I be one of those people or, or like one? And it's all, it's a reflecting mirror. So you, you are them because they are you. And they're part of you because you're part of this energy and this consciousness that is everything. Like the trees are part of you. Like it's just not your hands and your feet that are connected to you. It's everything. Like we're just in here subjectively, right? So I, had, I guess going back on the anger. Oh no, not going back on. The reflecting nature is something that I've been experiencing within the past year or two. I've consciously been noticing and connecting the dots and uh, how I have a problem with myself, basically. And when I say problem, I mean an issue. Like it's something you don't want to be within yourself and that you are. Whether it's thought patterns or your actions or, or lack of actions. or So I, I feel like we from knowing that and experiencing that, I can see how we project our feelings onto you, basically. We can project our, our thoughts and our feelings onto something we see, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's true, it's just something we feel and something that's reflecting that we're seeing. That's what I feel. So people who comment on me and, and about the the things that I do and stuff, they, they don't have a problem with me, really. At the end of the day, if they sat down with me, they'd probably like,